another day, another water contact closure here at Imperial Beach. If you take a look, there are surfers enjoying the water right now, despite signs being posted that this water isn't safe. And this water hasn't been safe for a while. She likes to walk on the beach, but I'm afraid she's going to get some disease or something from that, that water. Bob, his wife Janet, and their fur baby are visiting from Arizona. Bob says they were visiting San Diego 10 years ago. It was bad then, and now it's the same. How, how does it, how, how do they not fix it? Isn't there something they can do? The answer to Bob's question has a couple layers. The International Boundary and Water Commission is the federal agency charged with fixing the broken wastewater treatment facility at the U.S.-Mexico border. The IBWC recently missed its deadline to help clean up water in the South Bay. And there is a flow of contaminated sewage water from Mexico that is running right into the Tijuana River. And that's where San Diego State University's Natalie Mladenov and a new study from SDSU comes in. We installed a sensor platform in the estuary as an early warning system or an alert of this uh, wastewater uh, contamination in the river. That means once the IBWC can get the wastewater treatment system in compliance, they'll be able to see the contamination before we see it floating on top of the water, which indicates obvious severe contamination. Here's how it works. Chemicals in sewage have a lot of fluorescence, and this intense red fluorescence here is what we picked up with our sensors that are located in the Tijuana River estuary. And they can detect sewage in real time. Now that's a big improvement over existing sewage tracking systems, which it can take up to two weeks to alert water quality managers of contamination. Over the course of two and a half years, the researchers, a team of about 15 students and professors, tested the accuracy of the sensor readings. Another finding? Even though we had consistently, you know, wastewater coming across the border consistently, the tidal effects pre created a dilution effect. That means high tides diluted water and low tides? didn't uh, encourage as much mixing in the estuary, and so we had really poor conditions, really poor water quality, especially in the top layer. Kirsten Holmes, CBS 8.